Good morning, everyone. So John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves the world so much, so much, that he sent himself, he sent his Son in the flesh, the Word. He sent the Word of God in the flesh to be the example for us how to live in this world, how to live this life, the way he wants you to live. Not because he hates you, not because he's mad at you, not because he doesn't want to help you, not because he's trying to make it hard for you, but because he wants the best for you. Just like your earthly father wants the best for you, how much more does your heavenly father want the best for you? People say, I can't read Revelation, the book of Revelation, because it's too scary. Revelation, yes, used to scare me before I was saved, before I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. But if you read Revelation, just read it. Don't just forget everything anybody ever told you about Revelation and just read it verse by verse, chapter by chapter, and you will see a love story unfold. You will see a book of nothing but pure worship. The stuff that God allows to come on this world is not because he's mad at you, because he hates you, because he doesn't love you, doesn't want you to be with him, trying to make it too hard for you to enter the kingdom of heaven. He allows stuff for us to get down to that point where we look up and say, God, you are the only, the one, the only true God. There is no other God. You are the only God. You are the one who created this world who formed us in the womb, who knew us even before we were in the womb. God has allowed things in this world, devastations, plagues, things to come on this world so that we can accept him, that we can love him and be with him one day in heaven. The book of Revelation has so much worship in it. Heaven, the angels, everyone in heaven is worshiping God. It is a book of God's love, of worshiping God forever and ever and ever. It is not a scary book. It is God's love story to you telling you, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid of all this stuff coming on in the world. Use your common sense, obviously. But first and foremost, accept God as your Lord and Savior. And do what you have to do to be safe. But do not live in fear. Do not be fearful. For God so loved you that he sent Jesus to die for you. So come on. Trust him. Love him. Worship him. He is calling you. He is calling you. And he wants you to be with him one day. And even if you're uh, like right now in this world, we can still be with him. We may not see him like my Carl does. We may not see him like others that have gone on before us are seeing him right now, but we see him in the spirit. We know he exists. We know he's with us and he helps us through each and everything. And if we die in the midst of it, we will see him face to face. Come on, stop living in fear. Love God, be faithful to God, be about his business. Get your mind off yourself and love God and worship God. He loves you. He's calling you so, so much. Hey, I love you. God loves you more. Have a great day.